This is Box 13's Good Day Utah. Okay, if you're over the age of 25 and you think that, you know, you're losing your mind, well, you may not be far off. A study has shown that starting at the age of 25, yeah, the young age of 25, your brain starts to shrink. Well, that's too soon. We have Dr. Deborah Yerglin Todd from the University of Utah Brain Institute with us this morning to tell us ways we can slow down that process. And when I turn 25, I mean, I'll start thinking about it, but okay. <laughs> but until a few then. years past, I can't even remember my age. That's the problem. So why do we stop? Why do we start losing it after 25? Is it because there's an actual physical change that takes place or we just stop using our brains as much? Well, it's kind of both. What happens after age 25 is you have a natural loss of available energy in the brain. And if you think of your brain much like you think of muscles, if you don't use them, you lose them. So you have to both keep exercising your brain and also provide the right nutrients to the brain. So it's something that is stoppable or this is going to happen no matter what, but you can kind of lessen the um, Right. You know, the, well, the results. That's a great question. I think we don't know the complete answer to that, but it is certainly possible to intervene and slow things down. And whether we can actually stop them or not, I don't know. And best ways to try to stop it is to provide more exercise or more nutrition to the brain. Exercise for the brain. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, there's multiple ways that I'm um, using the word exercise in this case. Increased blood flow to the brain will provide a way of um, uh, providing nutrients to the brain. So for example, if you just carry out your normal exercise routine, mm -hmm. uh, jogging, tennis, whatever, um, that will increase blood flow and provide more nutrients. But the other exercises we mean that you should use are things like crossword puzzles, games, things that actually challenge you. Video games? Video games, although those, I think, well, <laughs> some of them are they very strategic. More. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. more the, uh, the intellectual memory Thinking games. Thinking games, oh, right. Okay. So one of the things that we had done to investigate this was we looked at magnetic resonance spectroscopy of the brain, which um, most people don't know what that is. It's a way of taking a, a picture of the brain chemistry. Mm -hmm. And we looked at your chemistry before and after supplementing with uh, CD choline, which is uh, cognizant. And what we showed is we could sort of reverse this aging process in middle age. And this was the first time that we, anybody had shown that brain chemistry could be altered with a supplement. Wait, so you can get back something you've already lost? You can fix it? You can sort of fix it, right. You don't get, you didn't lose it, you're just not making it. Okay. In other words, if you're not eating correctly and you're not exercising correctly, during normal middle age, those functions will get less. Your memory uh, functions are less uh, sharp. So what you can do is you can supplement if you're not eating the correct diet or not exercising correctly. This is a way of naturally supplementing. So can you take a, just a pill? Yeah, it's just a pill. And you know, you hear about these different things, you know, there's the ginkgo and, mm -hmm. and different things that help stimulate the brain. Does that work? Well, I'm not speaking about those products. Yeah. I've only tested this product. Yeah, but and a so lot of people are really curious about mm -hmm. what kinds of things specifically you can take. Right, well, you can take a number of natural products that will augment mm -hmm. your brain function. And the reason for that is that the natural bioenergetics, again, I hate to use those terms, but it means available energy in the brain, can be modified by supplementing. And so in this particular case, this mechanism, CD choline with this treatment, um, provides the, the easiest access of the brain to use energy. Okay, real quickly, it starts at 25. Give us the timeline after that. When, do you, when are you going to start noticing some of these effects? Most people don't feel they have a real noticeable problem until about age 40. Or then, it, depending on the individual, accelerates from there. Okay. Um, well, and well, then so what? <laughs> and then what should you do? Just, by 41, you're done. Well, no, 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 yeah. no. no, but I mean, around age 40, people start feeling as if they're forgetting uh, what used to be phone numbers, but everybody has their cell phones coded yeah. now. So, you know, it's mm -hmm. other kinds of things. Um, misplace their car keys, things like or that. Names and dates. Names and, that and kind dates. Of stuff. Um, okay. And that just seems to get worse and worse as you head into middle age. And again, exercise and eating right. The things your parents always told you do work, but in for some people they need more than that. Okay, really quickly, we're out of time here, luckily so for fascinating us, then. so we <laughs> couldn't have the test done for us. But is there a test that viewers can do, uh, located somewhere, so they can find out to what degree they have this? Well, most people, c if you can't do a crossword puzzle, and you used to be able to do one, that's a natural test. Uh -huh. um, you can go for formal testing if you want. Okay. Dr. Yergel and Todd, interesting stuff. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure.